Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? It's your boy K1 the Collector, and today I don't know if you're in a panic, but you might be if you be on this as early as me. At the time of making this video, this dropped an hour and 48 minutes ago. Now, y'all know how K1 gets your boy kind of like that, right? I was panicking, but I beat Escape the Hit List uh, within the first hour and 30 minutes of it coming out. I think I beat this about 30 minutes ago, so. About an hour and ten minutes of it coming out. So I was doing it. And I'm like, hey, um, I talking to somebody. I'm like, this this might not be possible, right? I, ah, you know what I'm saying? I'm over here looking at Joe Gacy. He's smiling at me like, pick me, pick me, pick me. And I'm over here looking at his badges. I'm like, are you, are you, how bad do I want it? I'm still really thinking I'm going to get it because this is Apex deal. I got to do this done three more times. But this is possible. Don't worry because boom. Hold on, wait, not boom yet, not boom yet. I'm trying to look at the ladder. Oh no, it's four reward, it's four reward. So y'all only see three, which y'all know, I mean, I got it. I did it, man, I did it. So I got proof too, so don't even worry about it. We gonna go here, man, I'm gonna show y'all. So y'all know y'all got the Chad Gable, just taking a peek at Chad Gable real quick though. Thing about Gable, he's a silver. We know how that get. Dex Lumis is a diamond. Chad Gable only has wet blanket and with an attack, reduce their special and finisher st uh, stock. Uh, but you do have to stun an opponent to do that, and it's only on level one. And y'all know how hard it is to get stuns off of silver. So, guys, this is hard. This is not, this is not no, um, this ain't no, do this method, and it's going to be a walk in the park. It ain't none of that. I'm just going, I'm not going to lie to y'all. You got to, you got to cook. But there is one thing where if you learn it, it gets significantly easier. Um, and, um, you, it's, you're not, unless you have been sitting up fighting Dexter Loomis, uh, in your 2K career for a while, you not gonna get it. But, um, yeah, that's so, 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 so. the main thing is, you have to figure out how to reverse Dexter's signature and finisher. And good thing about that is that the reversal window is about the same. It's really just a finisher, because I believe he has two finishers, two submission finishers. So, uh, the things about submissions is that the damage is done as soon as he latches it on. He doesn't actually have to tap you out to get full damage. So, um, but the other thing about this is the match stipulation. So, it's another one of them ones. This is the, the crazy, this man, this live event is crazier than the manifestation, I'd say, just because of the presentation of it all. It's also probably the coolest live event we've ever gotten. Um, if you just take out your competitive brain and how angry this is going to make you and just take in that this is pretty cool so all all in the reflexes reversal button prompts do not appear way yay i mean yay we good hooray uh we love that right blackout the lights in the arena have gone dark so if y'all haven't seen it y'all just seen a snip of the clip they it's dark okay this looks like a freaking wyatt six attack and this is really cool because this is definitely based off of the wyatt six and it looks just like when they come to attack gable it's dark in the ring and only the parts that's light is only the parts that be light Blood, sweat, and not tears, just more blood. Superstars are more likely to bleed. Uh, it's not really going to affect you much. It's just, you know, he might he might flick you in your head and you might have blood. It might, you know, for a fact. I don't know. Uh, out of the loop, the hood is not visible. So you can't see your health. Can't see. Yeah, it's one of those. It's one of those. Just don't cry. I cry, but you don't. Also, Dustin Lubin starts off with three finishes. Great! So not only is it crazy presentation-wise, it's nuts in terms of the way it was built. I don't know why they do these things to us. It, it, it's, it, it's crazy. But we're going to go in and we're going to click in. Guys, let's just, let's just go. Because we this is this did this was not quick. So, 0 and 90 MFP. The other hard part about this is that Gable uh, is a technician. So, I'm not going to lie, guys, sometimes it's kind of inconsistent, but more times than not, if he hits you with, like, a finisher, that 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 could be the match. It, 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 that, that's a possibility. So, right here, I reverse it. So, let's talk about his finisher. This is the most important part of the match. Let's go back, backtrack a little bit. So, he wakes me up right here. Now, a lot of times you think, boom, as soon as he started going like that, I paused it right here. As soon as you, when he reaches his hands out, most people are going to press reverse there. Hi, I'm me. That most people is me, right? I was played the match about five times, four, not five, probably about three, four times. And, nah, yeah, about three. And I'm reversing. This is when I'm pressing reverse, right? I'm pressing it right about here. And 
most of the time for most moves that is gonna be like the right reversal but for whatever reason that's the Loomis is really late like you don't actually reverse it until like he out got his hands on you like barely his hands is barely not on you so it's, it's later than it looks is what i'm gonna tell you so you're gonna have to pretty much you're gonna have to get hit with it first so that you can understand like they're gonna have to put that early on your screen a couple of times so you can understand but when you get that early adjust your mind and be like okay it's just later than it looks so let's go right here i reverse that and I believe, so don't go for Chaos Theory. Chaos Theory is the one where Gable does the O'Connor roll in the corner in terms of the German suplex. That one is going to be harder to set up because you have to get somebody in the corner to do that. Go for his regular standing finisher, which is just suplex. That is going to do well. This is outside. He's talking to me and whatnot. He grabbed a sled and put behind his neck and told me to come off. So, uh, I didn't like that. So I got my, I, now I already have two reversals, though. So you know you're going to have to get your mind back before the retirement. You're gonna want to. You're gonna want to do the reversals. Uh, one thing about this: don't try to get reversals. That's how you get hurt. Okay, don't. That. That's. That's never a good idea. Also, be careful for that Dexter Loomis drop kick. When uh when he whenever Dexter Loomis does a springboard drop kick, if you think that you can just back up and move out of the way, I don't care if you're in the other corner from across the ring. You will not get away. He has extensions in his knees just for what he does. That's not gonna go well. Don't try that. So, but um, what was I saying? I'm trying to remember. I don't remember. We just don't But yeah, so in terms of the drop kick, that that that's that's that that's that's not gonna work out. Now, one of the main moves that you're gonna want to do, the forearm smash that you saw me doing at the beginning is really good. It's the same forearm smash that like Zia Lee has, and it works the same way. Uh, now that spine buster right there is uh, that's Lewis's really signature. Uh, so you, you don't want to get hit with a lot of those, but it's mainly the finisher, guys. Once you figure out how to reverse this finisher, you're gonna be good. Now, same rules apply outside. Uh, you might be paranoid, right? So Perhaps when you're outside the ring because, because you don't want to get hit with the finisher at all. But you, but you also know, guys, when you're outside the ring and you get grappled nine times out of ten, it's an Irish whip. It's about eight times out of ten, it's an Irish whip. So you're going to want to get circled. Right here, I'm able to land Suplex City. I even get one of the Suplexes on a ladder and drop his head right there on the ladder. But I actually remember what I was saying. You're going to want to hit Suplex City every time. You never want to do O'Connor roll because you're going to have to set that up in the corner and all of that. Also, Gable does have a signature. It is like a tiger suplex or something. It's some kind of, like, it's like a butterfly suplex thing. I don't remember quite what it is. I have to look at it again. Uh, I just looked at it, but I'm, I'm, no. But this is also good, too. Weapon damage is really good. So uh, the chair is actually the best to do it with, but the sledgehammer can do you decent sometimes, too. So, what you do with that is um, you're going to want to do the running. Run. Not the Kindle stick. The Kindle stick is the worst one. Sledgehammer is okay. Chair is the best. It goes tier three, tier two, tier three Kindle stick, tier two uh, sledgehammer, tier one, uh, tier one chair. You're going to want to do the running move with the sledgehammer and the chair. This is his signature right here. Okay. Wait. I think it was. I don't remember if that was the situation. It's definitely like a butterfly thing. I don't actually recall if that was it, But uh, this match was crazy, though, by the way. Y'all see, I hit him with I hit him with a tiger bomb. He then proceeds to, like, y'all see what he do. Back suplex on a ladder and then a, and then a leg drop. Right there, I was trying to see if Gable had a springboard right there because I don't know how we get with the springboard. Right there. But, no, you're going to want to do the running method with the with the, with the the weapons, too, because that's going to give you some decent damage. You're going to want to run in and do, do, don't do the standing one, do the running one and kind of time it for when he's getting up, hit him like that, and it's pretty much until it breaks. Now, he's a technician. You're going to want to do arm damage. So, I don't think I got lucky this just this day. Uh, for whatever reason... Dexter Loomis does not reverse the limb charge of arm thing off. You can get a lot of these off before he reverses. Now, if you don't know how to limb target, literally go to the limb that you want to target and press circle. For me, for, for, for just for doing exactly what I did, I strongly recommend doing the one by his arms, either this one or when he's, or either this one where he's prone, when he's on his face, or when he's on the back. Press circle two times. To go ahead and limb target is either gonna when he's on his back, it's just gonna pick his arm up and slam against the mat, or he's gonna do this like when he's face down and you're gonna twist his arm and almost like face bust a bulldog it. Like you know what I'm saying? Like that's 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 this 
It's for you see how many times I'm doing this. I'm still going. Now, for whatever reason, you for I think Dustin Loomis got his arm mutated when he came with the Riot Six. It's got plus ten attributes across the board. Uh, Rambling Rabbit is in here just just tripping. Oh no, it's even done. I can't remember. No. You either the buzzer or the rabbit. No, no, you the buzzer. You the buzzer. The rabbit, rabbit is Eric Rowe. Uh, uh, buzzer is he be tripping. But he got Iron Man's arm now or something. I don't know. Y'all see how many times I slammed it and it's still not red. But just keep going. You're going to be able to land it. That's another reversal right there. Also, some of the easiest reversals in the game. This is his. That's his. This is his. This, that's his. Uh. That was his signature move. His signature move is actually like a sit-out down move. I don't know why I thought it was a butterfly move or whatever. But it's actually like it's actually like a sideways dominator. Um, but just keep doing the arm damage. So finally, we get his arms red right there. And that's actually, if you're looking for just some regular damage to do, you can do that too. Now, this is our second Suplex City. We have a red arm. We also have landed a signature. And this is our second finisher landing. We get Suplex City. Wet Blanket is also activated. So we touched up this uh, signature and finisher meter. And now we're back to doing arm damage because we know it's red. We know it's working. We know it's been bread and butter now. Uh, and then we hit a little... Deadlift German suplex. We real Gable mode right now. We turned up. We turned up. Shoes. You know what I'm saying? So now he, he reverses that. Um, now we're in a regular fight, right? You don't want to get hit with finishers and signatures and all that, but we're in the most regular fight ever. We kind of got the word. We got the finisher timing, but we're really scared, right? Because I'm telling y'all, if this man lands one finisher, your life is gonna change. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the, the fool, the fool, the fool over there by the time he the, the bell, he might hit it. He might hit that bell, and you're gonna see Dexter Loomis on your screen, and then you're not gonna want that. And when he wins, he just look at you, real goofy like, and it's just gonna make you mad. You don't want that. He trying to turn up, though. This man got a table, like, he gonna throw a ladder in there. I don't even know what all... He trying to he's prove, like, it's, this, this is crazy. Yeah, so, I mean, so, but now he's out here with us now. So, he tried to throw us up back in the ring, but we got the, we got, we know, we know that reversal, like, the back of our can hands. We're not going to get hit with that. So, he threw the table in the ring, and I'm like, I'm cool with that. I don't got no problem with that. So, now I'm thinking, let me go use the table. I need to do as much heavy damage as possible. I'm talking about. As much as possible. Now, again, the key to this is, dude, I beg you, don't learn how to do, how to reverse the finisher. Now, right here, I'm trying to figure out how to lean the table. I didn't realize that I didn't know how to lean the table without the without the prompt telling me to lean the table. Um, <laughs> so I just ended up throwing it. I don't even remember what button I pressed, but obviously it was the wrong one. We get another reversal right there. And now I'm looking to set up the table. So I was thinking I was going to figure out how to lean it. I said, nah, forget it. I'm just going to put it down right here. Boom. Looks like table, yeah. Now guys. I'm thinking, let's lift him on the top of the turnbuckle and go nuts. It, he, wasn't, he wasn't going for that. So, ha, I got real scared right here. I'm like, dang, the match is over. I just paused it. I had my hands in my face. I wish I had a face cam on when I did that. I thought the match was over. But I kind of gave up, and I was like, oh, I don't know what that was, but he just decided not to do anything to me. And I, so I ended up missing the two reversals right there because I was like, dang, I think he hit me with that. So, and that one I think was going to be a finisher, so that was not good. And then he just starts literally just, I don't know what he was doing. He was twisting a knot in my hair or something. I don't know. He, he is, this is a weird dude. Like this, this is this is this is why this is why Indy said she divorced. Like she said she's not playing fan with you no more because you even started messing with messing with animals. I don't know what you're doing, but I done tried to put this fool on the table and he reversed the stuff. Like I don't, he ain't never acted like this before. He then we having a fight by the table. I told y'all this match was awesome. Like he he then <laughs> I tried to suplex him through the table. He reversed that. He reverses it, puts me on the table. Vertical suplex. I'm through the table, y'all. I'm through the table. I thought I was dead. I thought it was over. And now, now he's trying to finish me off. He's going for the charge finisher. But guess what? Your boy is a throw. Do not hit me with those. Do not hit me with those. I'm too close. I want it. I want it. I need it. Huh. Huh. Triple hook, okay? I'm back in it. I'm back in it. Now they cheating. They cheating. Did you see that? 
My little grab right there, that was me going for Suplex City. Watch somebody tell me why he had invincibility frames right there. I grabbed the man. I really didn't grab the man. I smacked him in his belt. And they, and they, and they didn't. I really think a palm strike to the belt at least should, should, should trigger some type of reaction. He ain't gonna let me grab him. But whatever reason, he had like ghost frames right there. I don't know. I'm not... I'm not complaining. Well, I am complaining, actually, but oh, man, it's okay. He tells me to wake up, and he tries to hit me with that. I reverse it again. I'm going straight for Suplex City, but he reverses my Suplex City. At this point, I'm thinking if I had another finisher, it's got to be game. I've been fighting Dexter Lumens for an hour, right? He throws me back into the ring, and I know he has a finisher now because he just reversed mine. I'm shaking at this point. I'm sweating. I, I, I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. He's, he's doing rope rebound stuff. He just ducked under me, jumped under me, hits me with a spine buster on the broken table scraps. Like, it, he, this match was crazy, y'all. He threw my arm on, on the broken table leg, and then he tries to throw me. Oh, he hit me, oh, he hit me with, a, with, a little, with a little Irish curse. No, that wasn't Irish curse. That was the, uh, I forgot who does that back there. I don't remember. Oh, no, that's the Randy Orton back right Now, he's climbing up here. He tries to hit a big old leg drop. I reverse it. I think it's time. I think it's time. I think it's time. We got to cook right now. I land a drop kick. I'm laid out with Dexter Loomis. And now I just tested to see if I had a finisher right here. I'm thinking, hey, this ain't it. I don't know how much you know, I got left in the tank. I suplex him on one minute of the rump. I suplex him on the second minute of the rump. This one is going to tell me if it's over and it is. Chad Gable is your winner. This is possible. This is possible. This is possible. You seen KG win the ring before? Anything is possible. Anything is possible! You know what I'm saying, man? So, guys, <laughs> you can do this, right? You, you can do it. The main part is figure out how to reverse Dexter Loomis' finisher. At the beginning, it might take you a while to figure it out. Don't get upset when you get hit with the finisher. When you figure out how to consistently reverse Destin Loomis' finisher, you will then see the light at the end of the tunnel. But until then, it will be dark, grim, impossible. Right? That that's that's that's, that's what you're gonna that's what you're gonna feel like. But as soon as you reverse that finisher for the first time, then you reverse it the second time. You're like, oh, I I got this. You can do it. You just gotta believe. I hope y'all get to see that light at the end of that tunnel, man. I appreciate y'all for watching, man. Till next time, I will see you guys later. Peace.